assalamu alaikum beautiful people welcome or welcome back so today's video is going to be about preparation for ramadan and i know this video is slightly late but then well if you clicked this video it shows that you are ready to have a special ramadan so yes i have got you covered i have some points written down here and we need to discuss on it all right let's get into it um before i start the video i had i had this and i just wanted to share it yeah I, a lady said in her video she was like ask yourself this question when you are dead will the quran miss you because you aren't there to flip through it anymore will the ground miss you because you aren't there to do sujuds anymore will they miss your sujuds your kayams are you someone that the trees will miss because you did as her while walking past them or are you someone that the earth will be happy to get rid of you because of the sins you committed while you are on the earth so genuinely answer this question for yourself and you should reflect on it let the earth mourn your departure all right the plan is to make this ramadan the best ramadan anybody has ever had let's for me 2023 the last year was like the best ramadan i've had yeah but then this this year i want to get a better ramadan and then it will keep getting better every year inshallah and to get this i think one should first reflect on the previous ramadan they had one made it good one made it bad what do you want to correct in it what do you want to adjust what did you do that you should do more of what did you not do that you should do what did you do that you should stop doing you know things like that so you should answer these questions for yourself what made the ramadan so good and what should you do to even make it better the first step in making a great ramadan for the year is to reflect on the previous ramadan then we head to the next step you create a schedule beforehand we're about to enter shaban now and then ramadan don't think you have more time because you have to start planning earlier as i said earlier this my video is even late when you are creating a schedule you should plan around your lifestyle like right now ramadan is going to be when we're writing exams in this school so uh that's the beginning of ramadan the ending would be at home so whatever schedule i'm creating whatever routines i want to get into i'll have to think about that so whether you're at home you're working you're in school whatever you should create a schedule you should set your goals around your life yeah so set goals for ramadan we know that ramadan is the month of quran you should set your Quran goals. Many people want to do khatm of Quran. You want to read the complete Quran. So you should set your goal. How am I going to do it? Did I do it? Maybe if I did it once last year, I want to try to do it twice this year. I want to try to do adhkar more. I want to try to do more tahajjud. So the aim of this video is for you to start doing all those things you want to do in Ramadan. It's for you to start them now, before Ramadan. So you can build up those routines and those habits. Yeah, You should start nafila fasting uh voluntary voluntary fasting so that you can get into the habit of fasting before ramadan because nobody can tell me they'll just wake up one day and then yay it's ramadan and then you get into everything 100 percent. no you have to like build it with time you should do a lot of shafi and witter if you weren't doing before because it's very very important and for some reason that thing that those two voluntary salads just get you in the mood do other nawafils too as much as you can you would write a list of du'as before Ramadan. The li the du'as you want to ask Allah during Ramadan. I think this is very important because there are some things we actually tend to forget. Your akhirah first before your dunya. When you are writing your list, I wrote that here. So you should know what you are asking Allah. Don't go and ask for only materialistic things, forgetting the main, main important stuff. Ask yourself about your relationship with Allah. This is also something to journal about. This is also something to reflect on. Where am I currently with Allah? What am I doing currently to please Allah? And what can I do even better to please Him better? Because we're always looking forward to getting better at whatever it is. Yeah? Then I think for somebody to understand Ramadan better, they have to research on Ramadan. For you to get closer to somebody, you have to like get to know the person better. It works even for human beings, yeah? So when I know Ramadan better, when I know the purpose of Ramadan and the effect it has on me better, it would help me to get closer to Ramadan and to be more serious with it. Do you guys get the concept? So I think you should do your own personal research. After watching this video, go out, watch more videos, listen to more podcasts, 
uh, read more on how to prepare for Ramadan, on how to get Ramadan to be the best. And it's not just watching the videos, it's actually implementing the things you see in the videos. Keep in mind that Ramadan is an opportunity for one to be completely banned from hellfire. May we be among the people of Jannah, inshallah. But so are you willing to take up this opportunity or are you just going to let it pass? You don't actually know if you're going to see another Ramadan or not. You don't even know if you're going to see this Ramadan or not. But Allah Balikna Ramadan, inshallah, would see it. So you should treat it like it's your last. Get used to spending time solo. This is another point. I really think this is very, very important. I spoke about it in one of my vlogs, my school vlogs, yeah. When I was like, when you are solo, it helps you to be more productive. It helps you to manage your time better. So in this case, it's going to help you to reflect better. And it's actually going to help you to keep up with your Quran goals for Ramadan. Work on your habits now. If you are somebody that does a lot of insults, a lot of amebo, backbiting, gossiping, stuff like that. You should work on your habits now. Because the Prophet ﷺ said, Whoever does not give up evil speech or fighting with others and arguing Allah does not need him or her to give up food or drink if you are not ready to give up those habits of yours Allah doesn't need you to fast he does he doesn't need your fast for anything he's not going to use it this is a very important point to my girls if you have any missed fasts and you have not completed it you haven't repaid your last Ramadan I don't even know what to tell you like bro a big girl what are you waiting for? I, I don't get... Uh -uh. You want inspiration, revelation or what? Before you complete the fast. So, you need to flick, fix your sleep schedule in Ramadan. Before Ramadan even. So you'd be as energized as possible. So you know, okay, we're not going to be eating food during the day. So you should fix your sleep schedule. I don't know how easy that would be for me because I'm in school. As in, because it's not just I'm in school. I'm, it's, I'm going to be writing exams and I'll be reading at night and all. But there's one thing with me. I try to get as much sleep as possible because my sleep always comes first. So, <laughs> you don't want your Ramadan to be a bucket of holes. A bucket with holes. So, when you've made your list of the eye, you've made all these things. Are you sincere in those acts of Ibadah that you are take that you are doing your intention matters the quality is important it's not the quantity imagine reading this entire quran like five times but then you don't have the right intention okay <laughs> imagine reading the entire quran like five times but then you don't have the right intention and all your reward has just like gone to waste you get me so you don't want your bucket to be to have holes. You don't want to be doing good deeds and then they are not sitting in the bucket. They are just leaking out through the sides. So your intention matters. Your sincerity matters. Allah wants you to be as sincere as you can ever be. A very important point is for you to pray seriously that the, this Ramadan becomes a life-changing experience for you. Because in the end, it's still Allah that plans everything. Whether it's the Ramadan or whether it's every other thing outside the Ramadan. So you pray to Allah, Ya Allah, I want to get closer to you this Ramadan. I want to do as much Quran as possible. I want to be able to do this and that during Ramadan. So Ya Allah, please help me to get closer to you. That's how you do it. You know, it's, there's this dua, Allahumma inni ala dhikra, dhikrika. Dhikr, dhikr is remembrance of Allah. Ya. Saying Allah, help me. So you should also do that for Ramadan. Allah, help me to have the best Ramadan. You get me? So this is a very, very important dua we should start from now. Alongside Allahumma Balligna Ramadan. Yeah. Uh, there are many other things to be said. And I think I'm going to do other videos to come with this video. About Ramadan and all that, inshallah. I would be doing videos during Ramadan too. It's not going to be very easy because, you know, as I said earlier, I'm going to be writing an exam. Thank you so much for watching. I hope we have the best Ramadan this year and even much more better Ramadan next year. I pray it's possible, inshallah. Uh, I hope you've learned from this video. I hope you're able to get some points. So, yep. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> I hope you learned. Uh, I hope you, yes, I hope you learned and you enjoyed. <laughs>